Here we go. <laughs> nice herd of Ellie's. Hopefully they decide to come a bit closer. Uh, this is a nice treat. I think I'm going to spend quite a bit of time with these Ellie's. They look like they're very relaxed feeding. So maybe we're fortunate and they head a bit. Um, and come a bit closer perhaps. Let's see. Rashni, you were saying the landscape is so different. From the Mara to to here, um, compared to yeah, it, it, yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, we um, we've got thick vegetation and that. A lot of the the Mara is very very open, so completely different. Um, also, I mean, they've got those the escarpment and that, the mountains around there, um, which we don't really have. Well, not here. I mean, in the distance, we've got the beautiful Drakensberg. We actually can't see it today. Uh, no, can't see it. Some days are a little hazy and we don't have a clear view of them. But other days when it's very clear after a bit of rain, you can see that Drakensberg mountain range clearly. But yes, Rush, the terrain is very different. It's the best to sit with elephant and listen to them feeding and watch them move around and interact ML you say they're coming out to say good morning to us it would appear so <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this elephant moving through the grass. Oh, it's coming towards us. Beautiful female. You can see that very angular forehead, almost at a 90 degree angle, the forehead. And that's a sign that it's a female. It's an easy way to identify a female. Um, and a male. The males have rounder foreheads. Have a look at the grass on her back. She's obviously been throwing a bit of sand or something and grabbed some grass and threw that on her back too. Chitty Chatty Meg, it's not a silly question, there's no such thing as a silly question. Um, you asked if the elephants breathe out of their trunks. Um, well, they do, they do indeed. Um, they, um, I've seen, uh, and the best, uh, uh, best um, uh, example I can give is when elephants are in the water, or they're crossing rivers or, or dams, they'll lift their trunks up um, to breathe. So you do see them uh, keeping their trunks above the water. Um, to breathe, so they definitely breathe through their trunks and their mouths, I suppose. It's a, it's a nose, that's all it is. Eduardo, I haven't. I haven't seen elef an elephant give birth. I'm assuming that would be quite a uh, quite a experience, and and Eduardo, the, the, from my understanding, the entire herd get very excited and they they're on high alert when a female is giving birth, and and sometimes they'll all come in and circle the female to protect her if she is giving birth. That's what I've heard, but I've never seen it. I haven't witnessed it. <coughs> I 
quite a number of elephant. I can't see exactly how many there are. Um, Senzo, let me just move forward a little bit. I think we might have a nice view of those from this angle. Uh, how's that, Senzo? There's a bit of better light on those. <coughs> Is that better? Yeah. Uh, Donna, you were asking if the if I know if the elephants stand up or lie down when they give birth. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they stay standing, Donna. I do think they stay standing. As I said, I'm going to sit with these elephant for a while and hang around, see what they do. But let's head back across to Taylor, who apparently still has that lioness. <laughs> 